Training in AI can be very frustrating. It takes too long and the results are worse than you expected. This video will hopefully alleviate some of that pain. My name is Sebastian, I am an AI enthusiast from Germany and these are 5 hacks to speed up your AI training. Hack 1. Start out as simple as possible. The single biggest mistake I still keep on doing when training in AI is that I start out too complex. Complex environments are interesting, but creating simple environments minimizes your chance of making mistakes. Increasing the complexity afterwards is always easier. When you want to teach an AI how to drive, think about what the simplest version of this problem would be. Maybe start out with just steering, maybe on a straight road, no obstacles, no other cars. You want to make sure that the AI can fail quickly and fail often. If it drives off the road, just reset it and let it try again. As a guideline, if you think, oh, now the problem is too easy, that's boring, then you just have the right amount of complexity. Once it can reliably reach the goal, you know the foundation of your environment is working and that's really worth a lot. Use this environment and slowly add complexity. In Unity, you can even use a method called curriculum training, which allows you to increase the difficulty of your environment during training as the AI improves. Hack 2. Work carefully. As programmers, we sometimes get in the habit of pressing play first and fixing errors later. This is a bad idea with machine learning, because iteration time is dependent on training time. Letting an AI train for several hours and then realizing it didn't work because you made a stupid mistake is the last thing you want to do. <laughs> Trust me. Work slower, take your time. Outline your code structure before writing it. Type carefully, type slowly, check everything you write twice. Try to explain your code to someone else. This won't stop you from making mistakes, but it will surely decrease your chance. The next tip will further help you minimize your chance of making mistakes. Hack 3. Be your own tester. By using the so-called player brains, you can control the agents. This means you can pretend to be the AI. It allows for faster testing and iteration and you can again increase the chance that your environment won't break before you train an agent. Don't go into training before you tested your environment exhaustively. Pretend to be stupid, drive off cliffs, use random input. Try to break your own system. Hack 4. Human demonstrations are your friend. When I was starting out, I really overestimated the abilities of reinforcement learning. I thought, if AI can learn to master Dota or StarCraft, surely it can learn to master this simple little game I made. But for reference, the training time for the Dota AI was 40,000 years. <laughs> That's just crazy. The compute expenses to make something like this possible are in the millions, millions of dollars. So don't expect your AI to rival any of those trained by large corporations anytime soon. That said, recording your gameplay can speed up the training process immensely. Use it. There's no shame in using human data. Everybody does it. Unity allows for a blend of human data and autonomous training by the agent, which I think is currently the perfect method for most games. Again, use it. Be the teacher. Before we get to the last tip, I am running a straw poll. You can vote on which video you would like to see next. Just quickly pause the video, click the link in the description and vote. If any of those video ideas interest you, make sure to subscribe. Let's keep on going. Hack 5. Reward shaping is dangerous. Many times rewards are only given at the end of a level, like reaching the finish line in a driving game. So a complex sequence of steps is required to receive any rewards. When you are watching the agent struggle to get any rewards even after hours of training, it can be very tempting to give some intermediary rewards. 
you think, oh, maybe I can help this poor AI a bit mm, if I just reward it for mm, taking power-ups. It is so helpless. Yeah, sadly, this can easily lead to exploitation or shape the gameplay in a way you may not like. In this example, the agent kept on collecting turbos instead of finishing the race. Why? It was the quickest way to score points. In terms of reinforcement learning, this is not an error. It is just a poorly designed reward structure. So I would recommend to try to use curiosity or human demonstrations before you shape rewards. It's dangerous. You can watch this video if you want to learn more about curiosity. I have a Patreon. Your support would allow me to make more content like this. I am planning to make this YouTube operation a full-time thing. Of course, there is no way of doing this without your support while keeping the videos free for you to watch. The link is in the description. Thank you very much. This is the end of the video. Don't forget the straw poll. Don't forget the Patreon. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.